Hey guys, Real McCoy 411 coming at you with an update. I don't I don't know how to say it, but okay, so for February, I'm supposed to be using the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Oil, the Design Essentials Shampoo and Conditioner. And I'm also using the Wild Oath Oil, the Wild Growth Oil. So, I mean, I'm not contributing this hair growth to that. And some of it could be, some of it not. But you guys see my hair has changed. It's definitely growing. It's definitely growing. As a matter of fact, this is the back of my hair coming down to here now. So which is a big plus and this is the front of my hair it's still come well it went past but it's like still at my mid nose okay so on this journey I have to be truthful to you all because I have to be truthful to myself I'm gonna have to change the product Simply because it it may not be the product. I want to say that it may not be the product, but this is the only cream that I'm using. Um, and I just don't have the shine that I'm looking for. Um, it could be because of aloe vera juice. It could be because of the oil. I don't know. But I do know that I'm going to have to change the products okay and I just been using the product since the first of February but when I do my hair I'm noticing that it's not shiny it doesn't look moisturized and today I went on uh, Facebook and I got clarity on the LOC method I got clarity on the LCO method so I'm going to be changing something up I'm going to be using the LCO method because I think that method will work best for me. And the LCO method is a liquid, liquid or leave-in with the cream that you're going to be using to style your hair. And I'm going to go back to the Shea Moisture. And this is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This was working really good with my hair and it gave my hair a shine. And the only thing that I'm going to be doing different is, instead of putting this on the end, I'm going to put it in right after my leave-in and my liquid. Because I'm going to do both because I'm still using the aloe vera juice. I'm going to put this in and then I'm going to seal it with some tea tree oil. And then I could still, every once in a while, use the wild growth oil. Okay? So, I'm definitely going to be using the LCO method. And I'm changing from the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curling Cream. Just because I don't think it gives my hair enough shine. It's soft, but as you can see, it just looks totally dry. And I was using the LOC method. I was using the leave-in, the liquid, and then I would use the oil, and then I would put the cream on my hair. And I don't think that method works good for me because I have low porosity hair. So it's hard for me to retain moisture. But once I get it in, it stays. So I'm going to seal it in with the oil. So I'm going to be doing a nighttime a porosity video. I'm going to use the Biotin Boost and the conditioner and I'm going to use the aloe vera juice and the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I'm definitely going to be sealing it in with the tea tree oil. So that's my method. Um, I'll be right back with you guys. I'm loving my main I am loving my mane. Do you hear me? But I gotta get that shine back in. I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, I'm back. And I'm going to part my hair into sections. Now I'm going to take my time. So I'm going to do one section to show you guys what I'm doing. And then I'm going to come back when it's done. Because I really want to take my time on doing my hair. Okay. And I don't want you guys to have to watch me go over my whole head. It's just, it's not like it's too much hair, but it's thick. And I'm, I'm going to take time and deal with this medium density hair. And what I'm going to show you guys is what I'm going to do throughout my whole head. First thing I'm going to do, because my, I don't want my hair to be soaking wet, but I don't want it to be dry either. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my shafts, my cuticles, my pores with the warm aloe vera juice. And I love this bottle because it's just like a mist. And my shower, my water is always warm so it's like I'm in a sauna. It just feels so good and I know that I'm getting what I need out of that when I'm washing my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and detangle my hair is very soft and you know Biotene Boost that's one of my that's one of my favorite products to use. And don't get me wrong, Design Essential, I'm not saying anything is wrong with Design Essential. I'm just thinking that maybe Design Essential is not what I need right now. Um, the avocado, the almond and avocado cream, it is very, very creamy. So it could be used as a moisturizer. It could be. But right now, I'm just, I have to find a place to put it. But right now, it's just not the time. So, I have my hair saturated right here. So, that was the liquid. Now, I'm going to go in and also apply my Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk by Shea Moisture. And this is some really good stuff. I use it on my daughter, so I hope I got enough in here for me. Not going to put that much. Just doing a little section. I don't like that glare. So, just using it a little in that section. And I'm working it through. And I don't have enough hair to do the praying hand method. So, I'm just going to do the grace method like you <laughs> I'm just going to do the grace method and I just want to make sure you know how you say your grace you say your prayers well that's my grace method just making sure I get all that leave-in in all that aloe vera juice in making sure my ends have enough just a little bit more just for my ends because that's the oldest part of my hair and it's also the weakest part of my hair okay so I did that section and before I move on reclamp I'm going to show you every step I'm going to go ahead with my and I found I uh, figured out this is this is tea tree oil and it is also the main choice growth oil. Those are the two oils I have combined here. Not the Oregon oil, but the tea tree and the main choice growth oil. So I'm going to put just a little of that in my hand and take it and seal the moisture 
in. Mr. Step. After I did the leave-in, I should have put the Curl Hansen smoothie on there. Okay? But, it's not too late. Get that much. And just work it in. Do I have to go back and add oil? No, I, I do not. The oil is there. But I am going to take some of the oil and go down my part. Okay. Once I do that, I'm going to detangle my hair. And I can already see the difference. I already see the shine. I already see the difference. My definition, I see my curls. It's a good thing. And my plan is to just put my hair like in these four sections. And I'm just going to add three of my braids and you will hear me call these plaits. That's what I grew up in the country. These were plaits. Okay. I personally like, I have the curl there, but I personally like to seal my ends with a rubber band. Okay. So that's the LCO method. I'm going to do it one more time on this piece of hair up here. Okay. And aloe vera juice is really good for your hair. It gives it that pH balance that it needs. It helps it with growth. Helps it with moisturizing. And it's also good to drink. Also good to drink. So I'm working in the aloe vera juice. Then I'm going to apply my leave-in milk. And I'm working that from the root to the tip. So just a little background on my channel, I'm documenting my hair growth, my natural hair growth. I'm documenting how I obtain healthy hair and how I obtain length in hair. Those are my goals. So those are what all my videos are going to pertain to. Okay, so I've added the leave-in. This time I'm not going to forget. And I want to go ahead with my cream. Working it in, root to tip, making sure I don't leave out anything. I'm going to take my oil, put it down my part. Also going to put it down this back part. And then I'm going to apply some to my hand. 
just a little bit. Because I don't want to be greasy. But I do want to be shining and I do want to be moisturized. Not using the praying hands, using my grace method. But one day I will be able to use the praying hands, I promise you. Okay, so I've applied the oil, I've applied the leave in the liquid, I've applied the cream, and I have applied the oil. Since this part is a little bit bigger than that one. I'm going to detangle using my denim brush. And this is a small denim brush. Okay. And I'm just going to add my plait. This is the nighttime regiment that I have now that I've, I've always put my hair up at night. But adding this method to it, I think I'm, it's going to be very beneficial to me. Very beneficial. So I'm going to go ahead and add a rubber band to secure that. So as you can see, the little tips and the whiteness you see is the product. And I'm so glad that I'm doing this tonight so when I go out tomorrow my hair will not be wet. It is cold in Texas right now and I do not want to be sick again. some oil right here and going to add some oil right here okay and now that's it that's the LCO method starting fresh today and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my hair and I will be right back okay guys I am back my entire head is in the LCO method that I'm using on my low porosity hair to obtain moisture, to keep moisture, and to help me along my journey with growing healthier and longer hair. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a little because I zoom in too much and I know I will. But I just wanted to show you guys. This is the front area. And I just put little plaits all over the front. I wasn't specific on where I put them because more than likely I'm going to do a braid out. So, just to, I changed back to my Biotin Boost. Thickening shampoo and conditioner in which I use my scalp massager, which I love, y'all. One dollar at the Dollar Tree. Works great. And I worked it, I worked the uh, shampoo in and I also worked in the conditioner and I rinsed out my head felt so great. Okay. Then in this, we know we have my aloe vera juice. I am keeping the aloe vera juice. I'm going to continue to use the aloe vera juice. So I applied my liquid, and I also applied my intensive hydration leave-in milk as my leave-in conditioner. And for my cream, 
I used a coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie. And to seal it off, I used the tea tree oil and my main choice oil. And once I finished with my hair, I actually went down each part to just make sure I have my oil on my scalp. So, those are the products that I'm switching over to. I think it's going to be a great benefit. I really do. I, the way my hair just feels now, I don't want to speak too soon, but it just feels really good right now. And I just wanted to show y'all, look at that. My hair is, is growing. It is growing. So, okay. So, to get ready for bed tonight, I am a breast cancer survivor. So, I will be representing in my sink. And I'm going to just tie this around my head to make sure that I secure in my little my little plaits. I don't want them to move because then the braid out won't turn out too good. I don't like to put this on too tight. You can cut off all my circulation. So, and since I will still have this opening part right here, I'm going to put these under there. It's probably not going to stay. But to secure that, I'll go ahead and I put on my pink silk satin bonnet. And now I am good to go for bed. Head feels great. Also, I'll have pictures of the products. I'll also include the charts that the young ladies share with me on Facebook. I'll include those charts at the end of the video as well. So, y'all have a good night. And before I close, if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell because this is my natural hair journey. I'm documenting it all and hopefully and I prayerfully and I know, I know that I'm going to learn a lot of things and hopefully you guys can learn some things from me that I learned along my journey, okay? So you all have a good night and I'll see you guys in the morning because I'm about to close my eyes real good.